morning from our last full day on this cruise and we've just come down to breakfast. We, the plan this morning was to go to the restaurant for breakfast rather than to come to the buffet just because the buffet was so busy yesterday. Um, we somehow lost an hour. I found on this cruise either I'm just completely missing it or there's no information about when the clocks change and um, so on our first night we noticed the clock changed uh, by an hour um, and then it said on the daily planner that come through for today that tonight well between the 28th and the 29th the clocks were going to go back an hour which is fine so we got up this morning and the restaurant was open from about seven till nine it was about eight o'clock and then I looked at Ian's phone and I was like, why does your phone say it's nine o'clock? And my phone still says it's eight o'clock. So there's all this like, confusion. I'm like, oh my God, what time is it actually? And then the time on the phone, there's no clocks in the room, but the time on the phone, the actual like phone in the cabin changed as well. So we missed the restaurant and the kids went up and we decided, you know what? Because it was so hectic in here yesterday, we'll come down, we'll have breakfast kids have stayed in bed, they just want toast and like the pan of chocolate and all sorts of things. So we're just going to take them back to them. And so yeah, so we've come down here now. It, again, it is busy. I haven't been able to show you anything food-wise. Because I think if I literally walk down there with my camera or my phone, you're not going to see anything because it's just people. There's people queued up all the way along. So it's kind of in the middle and you've got two sections. So you've got one side is all the same and then the other side will then repeat the same so you've got like the hot breakfast section which is the most popular with your sausage bacon uh, hash browns no eggs that's on a different station and people queue for that but to keep, but then they queue past where the waffles and the pancakes and that are so you can't get to the waffles and pancakes unless you join that queue for hot breakfast because as ian found out yesterday people will shout at you if you do just try and reach in to get a pancake even if you don't want any of the hot food so um you little argument yesterday didn't you with somebody no one. like i just want a pancake it's like no you have to join the queue so <laughs> you join the queue and i think abby actually she just wanted to grab um some nutella so they've got the little sachets of nutella or oh, is it butter no it's butter, butter. She got to well. yeah so she just wanted the butter so on a separate bit there's like a bowl of like cubed butter and she'd already got her toast and everything but the butter isn't where the toast is so she sort of went and she sort of said to somebody can i just like get some butter and they're like no you have to join the queue to get butter i mean obviously that's the individual person that said that but if some child said to me can i just grab some butter i'm not gonna go no so um people, yeah. people are precious and they're cute they are yeah. yeah and i get it if i'm gonna try and go oh can i just jump in there and just grab some sausages or something then no fair enough you join the queue because that's what you do but if it's something like a condiment i think that's ridiculous that people get on their high horse about it um what was my point I don't know what my point was now. But either way, we didn't bring the kids down. We we're just going to take them back with what it is they want and avoid that craziness. That was it. I was talking about taking like video of what the food is. Um, I literally can't get in there to show you. It's all your normal hot stuff. And then it's pancakes, waffles, French toast, your rolls, your bread, um, your croissants, pancake chocolates, some sort of like little things with raisins in. There's also an omelette station, there's fried eggs, there's like your hams and cheeses and yogurts and cereal. So basically everything that you expect they do have. It's just crazy. What you've got to remember is that this ship is at full capacity. Six and a half thousand people. If anyone like us didn't know that the clocks were going to go back and have missed the restaurant, that's six and a half thousand people for breakfast. And at the time that we have actually come, it's probably the most popular time. So if you can get up early and get down here for like six, seven, then I would 100% recommend it because I would imagine at that time it's probably quite pretty quiet. We are just pulling in to Sherberg now. Nice blue skies again. We've got the Irish ferries following us in. Not sure what was happening with this boat earlier. Not French. Not sure what 
that means. But um, they were, they come at us quite fast earlier. <laughs> and then they sort of like, were dragging this woman out onto the front of the boat, like trying, it was like trying to wave us down. It was a bit strange, but we were at the back of the ship, so we don't really know what happened after that. And then they kind of went back out to sea, and now they're here again, so I'm not sure. So we just actually bumped into some viewers out in the corridor on the way back to the room, which was really surreal, but really nice. Really lovely to meet you and have a little chat about the, sh about the cruise and about Disney and about Florida and, and everything. I didn't get your names, but if you're watching, hello, lovely to meet you. And hopefully we'll see you again in Florida because you're going to be out there the same time as us. There you go. Don't fall. <laughs> I'm cheating, I'm holding on to my wire. Come past. Hold on. I just like going up the stairs. You did that so fast. I'm over good. Oh, here comes your father. Watch him fall off. My random choice for lunch chips, turkey, pretzel, cheese bread. I uh, can't remember what sort of bread that's called. Um, chicken, <laughs> a cracker, and cheese. And we just discovered that outside, before you come in to the buffet restaurant, there is like a takeaway bit and it's got like burgers, hot dogs, sauce, no, burgers, hot dogs, pizza, chips. And then also some like a takeaway salad or a takeaway dessert. So I've got this, which is like a brownie and a biscuit. But you can't actually get this in the restaurant. So we've kind of got a combination. But Abby's very, very happy because today they have had pineapple. You've had some on your first day. And you desperately want it more, haven't you? And there hasn't been any. And you found it. So you took the whole lot, didn't you? In case they run out. They did. It's melon now. Is it really? Have you looked, you've gone back over already. You haven't even eaten anything. You've gone back over for more. Oh, that's a good time in them. I'm just having to add a voiceover on this because I think Ian had dust or something in his microphone on his phone, so you just couldn't hear anything at all. Um, so basically, we are up on deck, just sunbathing. And I'm just telling you whereabouts we are on the ship, or at least trying to figure it out, because I couldn't figure out if we were at the front, or the back, or towards the middle. So I decided we were in the middle, towards the back. I was just saying the pool is that way, and then we're on the side. It's really quiet there, which is I was just saying. See, you can't hear anything. And it was no wind either. It was a wind trap down by the pool, but up here, no wind at all, which is great, which is why I brought a blanket, just in case. And I thought I'd show you the sun, which is in the sky. <laughs> We're just uh, looking over Sherberg at the moment. Abby's got her music on, Jake's watching something on his phone, Ian had his headphones as well, and I was just going to lay there and just listen to everybody walking past, really. Arcade area, the 
channel for the XD Interactive Cinema Expo where you can choose what story you want to do and like shoot zombies and stuff. Today it's £8 per person for I think it's four minutes. Obviously it's like a lot of money but the pass I bought was £72 and you get like 140 So he was just asking which one we wanted to do. What did he say? Clowns, cowboys and zombies. Do zombies. Um, so yeah, you get £72 and you get £140 worth of credit. I think I've mentioned this before, but just in case I haven't. We've actually only spent £67 so far, including this. And obviously today is the last day we can use it, so we're trying to use it. Kids have just gone to do a basketball game. But like the games that you would get normally in an arcade, like air hockey, the basketball thing, they're like £2.50 though. So they are really expensive. When you've got a credit to use, you want to use it up. I might try and do bowling again later. Uh, Jake wants to do the F1 simulator. And so we'll just see if we can try and use it up really. This is what we're about to do. You can see the seats move, you've got guns, glasses, and then you're shooting whatever's in front of you. So like I said, we've chosen zombies. I'm quite looking forward to this. We have been waiting quite a long time now. And but, well, hopefully, well, we're in next. Hopefully it won't be much longer. Go in the middle once they move. Yes. Oh. Huh? Pit stop for ice cream. Your well, sundae is massive. Yeah. <laughs> Put so much cream on there. There is a lot of cream on there. So this is a build your own sundae, which is two scoops of ice cream, cream topping and a sauce, nine pounds. One scoop of ice cream, three fifty. Two scoops of ice cream, five pounds. Milkshake. Again, this was banana, which isn't on the list, but she still did it, and that's seven pounds. Twenty-four pounds in total. And we're back outside again, back in the sun. We've lost Jake. We've lost. Oh no, Abby's Abby's come back out of hibernation. She was under the towel. It's still nice and warm up here, isn't it? Lovely done this entire explanation about shows and hadn't hit record. I'm done. It's really clever. I don't actually know what the last thing is I said that I actually recorded. But what I was saying is <laughs> we're leaving Sherberg at 8 o'clock tonight. It is currently 6 o'clock. Me and Ian are booked for one of the carousel shows. The carousel shows you have to pay for if you book in advance. So once you've booked to go on a cruise, you can book the shows. The carousel ones, there's two. One is like, a, they're Cirque du Soleil kind of style shows. One is a chess, themed on chess. And the other one is themed on like, steampunk time machine kind of thing, which is the one we're going to watch. There are also three, three shows that you can watch. One's called Wake Me Up, which is just different kind of songs, random songs. One was ABBA, which was last night which looked really good actually. We did book it, but forgot to go to it. And then we did go into the later one to have a look and everyone was up dancing and having a good time. And then the one tonight is an Italia show. Um, I'm assuming singing Italian songs. Um, but those ones are free. The other ones, like I said, you have to pay for. Kids aren't going. They went to the shows on the first Disney cruise that we did, but then they didn't want to go on the shows the second time we went. So I did ask them before, do you want to go? Because if you don't, I'm not paying for it. And they said straight out, no, we don't want to go. So they're not going. So we're going to go and do that. Then we'll have to go back to the room and pack. And then we will go for dinner. And we'll go back to the restaurant tonight for dinner, 9.45. So it's a late one, but the suitcases do have to be out by 11. So we do need to pack before we do that. Um, as for that, I don't know what time we'll come out of dinner. Maybe we'll do something. Maybe we'll just go back to the cabin. We'll see. Um, but we'll probably next see you when we are off to the show.
<laughs> That's what I mean, it's crazy. It's a weird story. Yeah. But it was, it was, I didn't know where to live. It was really no, good. It's, it's like the circus. So um, there was people juggling, there was a people guard on a bike, around. there was like swinging on a hoop and swinging just with his hands. That first place, it was like, it literally was at the right kind of spot doing some yeah. I really like the guys though that were like the toys, like the broken. Yeah, all the folk like, on the push bike. Yeah. Stands on his push If we had done this on the first night, would you have paid for the second show? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. 100%. We only pre-booked one, you can pre-book both, you only pre-book one. Yeah, so, Yeah, it's worth the money. You get a yeah. cocktail, like I showed you already. So, like, £9, to be fair, I think a cocktail probably cost you about that anyway. So, in that sense, if you're here to drink, then, you know, you get the show for free. But it was very, very good. It was like, like my hands were sweating at one point. I feel like the kids have missed out. Because they yeah, should have another show. Yeah, I would definitely take the other one. Yeah. Yeah, if we'd seen it Friday. But I guess it's a good thing to save money. Because we can't book the other one now. Yeah, very, very good. So we're just standing in the casino right now. If you need a drink, come to this bar because there's nobody there. But look at this floor. I had to show you the floor. Make sure you what can't is, see up my skirt. What is, I think it's one lock and a mirror. Yeah. It is, isn't it? It's just like reflection. Yeah. Pretty cool, though. Alright, let's go and see if we can find the kids. Terrible. Completely forgot to actually film the food. So I just took a photo, which I'll insert now. That's mine. And this one's Ian. Abby's got the same as me. And James got a cheeseburger. So, there wasn't any point taking a picture of that one. Abby just had a full on photo session on the stairs. I didn't record it. I should have, but I took photos. So I'll insert some of the pictures that I took of her doing it. And for tonight's a white party. So we're just going down to see what's happening. something in the morning so I'll probably just stick it onto this video uh, again I don't even know what I've actually filmed I think it's just clips like here and there so I'm really sorry if this just doesn't flow so um, when I'm in Florida I feel like I can get the videos to flow quite well pick up the camera well, not so much here for some reason I've recorded some stuff so hopefully I can show that but there's so much I haven't recorded to actually show you at all um, I look really, really sunburned. That's not a good look. And that's it. We're back. Back in Southampton. The time has come. The cruise is over. It's half seven. So we literally just need to leave the room now. Just waiting for Abby to brush her teeth. And then we're good to go. Um, our bags went last night, so we just got our hand luggage this morning, which was literally two backpacks full of stuff from what we were wearing last night into bed and so on. Um, and then we're going to go and get some breakfast. So two options for breakfast. We've got the, um, one of the restaurants is open till nine, I think. And then the buffet is open. So I think we might try and go to the restaurant. I imagine quite a lot of people might try and do the same thing. So whether we're getting to the restaurant or not, it might just be the buffet. And then we have to go and meet our designated meeting place, which is, I think it's a restaurant called like El Campo. I don't think it's been open any time during this cruise, but that's our meeting place. We have to go there. And then I think everybody that gets off at that time will all go probably to the same section to pick up their luggage. And then we just need to get an Uber to get home. So we're now queuing for the restaurant. The restaurant says it's open for breakfast. Ooh. 7 to 8.30, it's currently 8 o'clock nearly. We've been told it is a 30 minute wait to get in. So this is my breakfast, ham, mushroom and cheese omelette with hash browns. Ian's got the same and then also some cinnamon toast that we ordered. If it comes. If it comes, doesn't come yet. 
Jay's gone pancakes. Abby said lots of toast and she got two slices. She's not impressed. <laughs> Bye bye, Cruz. Nice, so We're finally off. Embarkation time was 9 15. It's now 10 past 10. So now we've got to go and pick up our bags. We are number 48. And we also have little stickers on our cards just in case we forget. And that's it. That's the end of another little vlog series. And collecting bags was really easy. Once you'd got into the arrival terminal, you just went to your number and the bags were there. Um, straight out, called an Uber, didn't wait very long for it to come, so yeah, all was good. Um, we're like a month now, nearly a month, nearly a month? Yeah, nearly a month, <laughs> I forgot what day it was then, um, after the cruise. I know, when, especially when I've come to edit it, I've said it's so busy, it's so busy so many times, um, because it was. We wouldn't have normally done a free night cruise on a bank holiday weekend in school holidays and the only reason we did it was because it was my birthday and I couldn't get any other time off work other than that weekend I couldn't have any days off after um, and it just fitted well which is why we did it I wouldn't go on a bank holiday free night cruise again um it was technically a booze cruise people pay a lot of money for those those drink packages and I know I don't blame them they took advantage of them we don't drink um taking the cans was like great I know people say oh, you know you're not allowed to take cans on with you but you know it's not a health and safety issue it's purely because they want your money and so you know I, I didn't have a problem with trying that if they took them and confiscated them then they took them and confiscated them it is what it is at the end of the day but the cans were good we didn't spend that much money i think in total we spent 86 pounds um that was on a few drinks me and ian did ola and um, we had the ice creams that we paid for because ice creams aren't included unless you have the alcoholic drink package or the kids drinks package i think ice cream like soft serve ice cream is included but not the ice cream that we had um, yeah, so ice cream and milkshakes. So yeah, £86 in total, um, which I'm pretty happy with. You don't have to pay um, tips on the MSC cruises. They're automatically included. Obviously, if you want to leave tips, then you can. But it's not like the US ships, like if you did Royal Caribbean or I don't know about P&O, how they work with their tips now. Um, Disney and all of that, obviously, they, they have the, the tips that are automatically added on. Um, I had a really good cruise. I really did enjoy it. It is a nice ship and I wouldn't want to put anybody off going on the ship. Just be prepared that if you are going to go on school holidays, it is going to be busy and you can tell how many people there are. Um, it's really hard to compare because with the Disney ones that we did, because they were like during COVID times, they were really limited on the amount of people that were on the ship. So at times you were the only one around. Like I remember after dinner, we would go out into the atrium to take pictures and we were the only ones there. Whereas with this one, you'd come out into the atrium at you know, like half 11 at night and it's just heaving with people. But it is a nice ship and it is a cheap cruise in comparison to a lot of them. So if you just want to go on a cruise, it's, it's good value. So in that sense, I would recommend it. But we had a good time. It was great to get away for my birthday. And uh, yeah, now on to the next one. One little night's cruise, the next holiday, which is Florida, which is coming up very soon. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to editing all those videos and getting those out as well. If you did enjoy the series, like, let me know. Um, yeah, leave us a message. Thumbs up, apparently it helps. And subscribe if you're not already. And um, yeah, thank you for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye. Live your life within the moment, moment. And don't go wait until the morning, morning. You never know when it is over, over. All that I know is we'll get older, older. So let us dance this side away.